Hello everyone and welcome back to The Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today we're going to look towards the Warhammer preview by Games Workshop. Preview in two weeks and it's showing a bunch of new goodies, so let's not waste any more time and jump right in. First up, we're looking towards the Luminoth Realm Lords, a brand new army for the Age of Sigma. These are pretty much the Age of Sigma equivalent to the Warhammer Fantasy High Elves, and we've seen them before, but now we're getting to see a brand new battle box, very similar into the style of how the Sisters of Battle were released, where you can pretty much get started with a brand new army with just that one kit. The kit itself comes with 10 Wardens, 5 Horse Riders known as Dawn Riders, and the Light of Ulfarian. A pretty good way to start up a new army, the great thing is the box also comes with the objective markers, a bunch of special dice, a range marker, and also the special edition battle tome. This is a great way to start a new army, especially if you're looking to something more elven rather than something so out there like the Stormcast Eternals. And even I, a Warhammer Fantasy battle player, I'm looking towards this box like, hmm, maybe I might give this a shot. Moving swiftly on to Blood Bowl, where some new Tree Men units now appear. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. They look absolutely amazing. It just goes to show how great the Warhammer development team are actually getting at creating new casts. They look super cool, and they've got a cute squirrel on there too, Acorn. I've been looking towards actually getting back into Blood Bowl after a few years break, and I was actually considering the Wood Elves, so this actually might give me a little push too. Who am I kidding? I'm probably most likely going to go back to the Skaven, but hey, you know, one can dream. But that being said, this is a very cool reimagining of the Tree Men, and you never know if this actually might translate in the future to something in Age of Sigmar. Now looking towards the Horus Heresy, it looks like the Word Bearers are finally getting some love. Two new Praetor models have been released, and it looks like they can also be used in Warhammer 40,000 as per their article. Yeah, they look really, really cool. I know a few Word Bearer players who are currently very, very happy. I must admit, I play no Horus Heresy. It's something that I've always wanted to check out, but I've really never had the time. And Forge World is a little bit too expensive at the moment for me, but the Word Bearers are a very interesting legion and are one of my top. Right above the Alpha Legion, but right below below the Empress children. Now this is something quite big and has actually piqued my interest quite a bit. There's a new campaign book called The Quest of the Ringbearer for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. This book is a narrative driven story where you can build up your own fellowship and go on a quest to destroy the One Ring. This is actually really really cool. It's a big narrative story which kind of brings maybe an RPG element into this. And it's something that obviously people who've read the book or see the films can closely associate with. It looks like you can create your own fellowship too, even having Saruman as the wizard instead of Gandalf. I'm definitely picking this up, like no questions asked. Also for Middle Earth Strategy Battle, we also have two new ranger units. They are both minor heroes, and it's a bit of a callback to the actual films. These two rangers actually appeared in either Two Towers or Return of the King. I can't remember too well which film it actually was, but it's a bit of a nod to the film, which I think is actually quite cool. You can see some special characters coming out from that more and more. Is anyone else as excited for Angels of Death as I am? Not only because this looks like an awesome series, but there's so much potential with this. Who's to say if this doesn't actually like kick off properly? We might end up getting some other shows based on the Horus Heresy, or on Age of Sigma, or Warhammer Fantasy The Old World. The animation style looks great, the teaser is really hyping me up. I'm a sucker for Blood Angels. There is so much potential with all this, and I can't wait to see what Games Workshop do in the future. A quick point here is that in the stream they pretty much confirm they're working on four to five different styles of animation for four to five different shows. The Sons of Behemoth, a Gargan based race, has finally been confirmed as a new playable faction for Age of Sigmar. Not much has been shown other than the fact that we know that there is a battle tome on the way, but this could actually make us quite excited for it. They've also confirmed on the live stream that we should be getting either new minis or additions to minis, maybe some upgrade kits and so on, to make them all look a bit different. This is a pure giant faction, and obviously many Destruction fans will be very happy with this. A graphic novel returns with Demonifuge, something that's actually really, really vintage, is actually returning, which actually proves that GW are looking at old formats. Well, maybe we'll see Gothic at some time. This is being re-released with two of the main characters of this actual graphic novel, and they look absolutely incredible. I mean, just see it for yourselves. It has also been confirmed that these two models will indeed have rules, and they will be featured in the new Psychic Awakening book, Pariah. But that's pretty much all the main points from this week's preview. We are aware that there's not going to be one next week, but there will be one the week after. Honestly, so far these are being really cool and they're being very entertaining. So with that, my friends, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this week's preview? Are there any models that you're going to be picking up when they're eventually released? I know there's a few that I want myself. But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys are all doing well and keeping safe and keeping busy. 
Hopefully this whole pandemic debacle ends soon and we can get back to enjoying our hobby like we intend to. But with that, thank you for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.